I'm Jeff Gleam, Associate Vice Chancellor for Development and Alumni Relations and former Executive Director of the SIU Alumni Association. I've had the pleasure of working with Scott in both capacities. Let me tell you a little bit more. Since selling his company a decade ago, Scott Moeller has generously given his time, talents, and financial support to SIU. His active involvement includes serving as an Executive Committee Board Member for both the SIU Alumni Association and the SIU Foundation. He has played pivotal roles in attracting talented leadership to the university by serving on search committees for SIU Chancellor, Chief Marketing Officer, and the Dean of College of Business. Scott's commitment to students is evident through his hosting of Dinners with 12 Salukis, providing conference panelists for SIU's Marketing U, underwriting travel expenses for AdLab students to compete nationally in New York, and for fermentation science students to participate in the Great American Beer Fest in Denver. He is active in creating and implementing unique events in Chicago, including SIU Day at Brookfield Zoo and the Big Muddy Film Fest at the Museum of Contemporary Art. On campus, he was on the committee for developing the iconic Saluki Alumni Plaza and contributed to the vision for the Tedrick Welcome Center. Scott's financial contributions have had wide-reaching impact. He has endowed two academic scholarships, one in the College of Arts and Media and another in the College of Business. He provided the matching grant to start the Alumni Association Student Leadership Fund and was a major underwriter of the Saluki Alumni Plaza. He also gives regularly to other campus programs such as the SIU Food Pantry and WSIU. In 2021, a major gift from Scott and his sister, Julie Guida, resulted in the naming of the Guida Moeller Family Alumni Center. He is a passionate Saluki, and this is made evident by his consistent and multifaceted support of SIU, extensive involvement, and generous contributions. Some students deliberately choose SIU, some come here on a whim, and for others, SIU takes a chance on them. This is my SIU story. So I grew up in McHenry County, which is near the Wisconsin border. I went to Crystal Lake High School. Uh, my high school grades were really inconsistent. My test scores were average, and I was super apprehensive about coming to college. But my sister, Julie Guida, who's a Saluki at the time, encouraged me to apply to SIU. And that's when SIU took a chance on me. I started out as a business major like so many others, <laughs> but eventually found my passion, obtained uh, my bachelor's degree from the College of, of Mass Communications. And then later, years later, I'd return to get my MBA, which was kind of on my bucket list. Uh, so my sister helped me get my first student job here at SIU, which was selling tickets at the SIU Arena, where she was promoting the concerts. This all prepared me for what ended up being my greatest job on campus, which was promotions director at the SIU Arena, where I got to promote all the big shows at the time. We had the biggest arena shows of, of the time, which included bands like Aerosmith and Foreigner and Van Halen and Hall and & Oates and Sammy Hagar and Bon Jovi and ZZ Top. And then we presented some family shows too, like the Harlem Globetrotters would come to SIU, we did Sesame Street Live, we produced our own show called the Spring Sports and Recreation Show. And then I would leverage all that experience later on to land a job with a national promoter in Houston, and I got to promote shows all over the country. In 1987, I returned to Chicago and I partnered with my sister and we formed our own marketing company and we called it Marketing Works. And our first clients were some of the companies that we worked with at the arena, like the Harlem Globetrotters and Sesame Street Live. A couple years later, we pivoted out of entertainment marketing, we got into product marketing. And over the course of the next 26 years, we built this agency into a $100 million company. And we're working with some of the biggest product brands that included like Verizon and PlayStation and Lego and Hershey and others. And then in 2013, Julie and I sold the company. It was just really a fun place to work. It was kind of a work hard, play hard thing, which was similar to the arena too, when we were here. The culture, there's a lot of culture that we took from our experiences at SIU when we incorporated in that company and it worked out great. When Julie and I reflected on like our success, like how did we get here, how did this happen? We could draw direct lines right back to SIU and to the arena the culture that was here and how we incorporated that into our company. Julie and I have a lot to be thankful for for our experiences at SIU. And I feel very fortunate now to be in a place in life where I can give back. And there's so many opportunities here on campus for me to give back. And that's been my motivation to make sure that there's a place that SIU will continue to take a chance on students like me and allow them to prosper. I always tell people like my best day is when I get to meet another Sluki. It's really fun. I mean, because we have this combination, this this connection right off the uh, the gate, and we all have some experience that we 
want to share with each other about being a Saluki. So I think student success is really what keeps me involved and engaged. I've had an opportunity to, to help a number of students on campus, and it's really been fun to, to be able to see students progress and get ready to go out in the world. It's a, it's a scary time in people's lives, right? But, but it's such an exciting time, too. I've endowed a couple of scholarships, one at, at communications, one at the College of Business. Um, I've helped with, for example, like Ad Lab. They needed to send some kids to New York for, and they needed funds to do that, helped with that. Um, Matt McCarroll needed funds to send kids to, to Denver for the, for the beer fest, you know, so I supported that. So things that can just make people's lives a little bit better, that's really fun for me, I like doing that. Saluki Plaza is really something that I'm really proud of. I think we um, we met with Carlo and uh, when he was chancellor before he passed away, and he said he wanted something like that on campus, a place that people could gather you know, for around graduation and that we didn't have that here. We needed some place for people to really celebrate their salukiness. And so um, it was great really to put that there and now we see people using it in so many creative ways as a great gallery spot. So I'm really proud that we put that out here on campus. I was involved with the Chancellor search to find Dr. Lane and um, you know, it's incredible to see him from the interview stage to what he's done for SIU. So that's been really rewarding too. So again, the things that I've been able to do, I feel like very, you know, being able to help at the ground level with Saluki Plaza was really exciting. Being able to help create what the vision for the Welcome Center was, was really exciting. So, you know, for being able to, to help with those things is, is uh, kind of keeps me engaged. SIU has an endless list of things it can use some help with. So you just have to jump in. That's what I would encourage anybody to do. If you're looking at how to help SIU, just, just jump in. There's plenty of things to do. There's plenty of ways to help. The need is endless, but the rewards are endless too.